salt pepper ribs, jiu yin pai guai. It is an umami bomb. Mm -hmm. Salt, spice, and this little bit of crunch that you get. Ah, oh, it is so good. We're gonna show you how to make this dish in the sous vide. This takes any guesswork out of the frying and gives you perfectly tender ribs with a good bite every single time. And I'm going to show you the secret to Asian street food, the salt pepper flavoring. And if you're new to kind of cooking, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time we have a new video out. First step is to sous vide the ribs. We're gonna add this ginger in here to get rid of the porky taste. Okay, and you'll notice that we cut the ginger pretty big today uh, because we're going to fry these after and you do not want the ginger to burn. So we're gonna remove these before we fry them. Then we have the Shaoxing wine that also removes the porky taste. Now it's to flavor them. We have sesame oil, five spice powder, and garlic powder. And you'll notice that we mostly used powders today because just like the ginger, we do not want the aromatics to burn. Time to bag it up. We have our ribs and we tried to put them as much as we could into one layer. The ribs are ready to go in the sous vide. We're gonna put them in there for four hours at 165 degrees Fahrenheit. What's salt pepper ribs without the salt pepper? Just ribs? Well, actually it's not just salt and pepper. There's a few things in there. And this is actually the flavor that goes into a lot of Asian dishes. Mm -hmm. You have salt pepper shrimp, salt mm -hmm. pepper squid, salt pepper chicken and salt pepper ribs. I think they use the spice a lot in street food. Yeah. And now we're gonna show you how to make it at home. But if you're too lazy to do it, you can also buy the pre-made mix. First off, you have star anise. And this star anise, actually, I don't know if you've ever noticed, there's actually seeds inside. And what you actually need to do is to break this apart and try to get that <laughs> seed out, if I possible. Had, I had no idea there was even a seed inside. It's like a little envelope, eh? Is it? Mm -hmm. I had no idea. Make sure to get rid of these seeds because they will become bitter when you pan fry this. So I guess the flavor comes from the shell and not the seed? I think the seed adds flavor, if you like bitter. I thought the star anise was the seed. The rest, we have salt, dried chilies, white peppercorn, and green peppercorn. So we put it into a dry pan. We're just going to let it become aromatic. It's going to take a couple minutes. Watch it carefully. Do not let it burn, okay? Keep it moving. If you're not used to it, it gets sometimes it gets really strong, you may cough. So we're gonna put it into our grinder. Just get all of it in there. We're gonna try and get this as fine as we can get it, okay? Be careful. Yeah. Smells good, but you will cough it. It smells taste. amazing. I wanna give this a taste. Okay. Wanna smell it? Taste is very good though. And you can use this for so many things. As Carmen mentioned, you can use it for squid, for whatever fried thing you like, just sprinkle some on top, it's gonna taste amazing. You don't need all of this for the next dish, so no. this is extra for other dishes. Yeah, and you can just put it into a airtight container or sprinkler and use this. Sprinkler? Like oh, shaker, okay. shaker whenever you feel like using it. To so make the ribs, we heated the cast iron we tossed the ribs in a little bit of cornstarch and we placed them there for just a few minutes until it turned nice and golden brown. With the rest of the ingredients, make sure you have them ready beforehand mm -hmm. because this is a very quick dish. Yeah. Chop everything, dice it all and have it all ready. Mise en place, ready to go. First you put in the garlic, ginger and scallion, stir fry that until fragrant. You throw your ribs in and you give that a good stir until it's nicely coated. Then add the peppers in there mm -hmm. and the onions. And this is going to be a really quick process. You just quickly stir it. Then you put in the salt pepper that we made. Just a teaspoon is enough. You can adjust to your taste. But that stuff is an umami bomb. It is so good. And you really smell it right away. You just want to eat it right away. I'm just going to use my hands. Hey. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. I like the little bit of crunch on the outside. Mm -hmm. It's not like a crispy fried thing, but it's just a tinsy little bit of crunch. Yeah. It adds a little bit of texture. It also helps to absorb the flavor afterwards because mm -hmm. the cornstarch will pull it in. If you like our recipe, make sure to check out our other recipes. We do sous vide recipes with an Asian flair. It's not spicy. You would think that it's going to be a spicy dish. It's not spicy at all. The flavor is so good. 